What's up guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. Today we're going to be talking about eight barrel proof bourbons that you guys need at your home during this quarantine. Hit that intro. All right, I get it, you're at home, you're stuck, you need something good to drink during that quarantine. So I got eight bottles here, you can already see a couple of them. Obviously you already see number one right here. And I will let you guys know these are in no particular order, but obviously this is a special place in my heart. So first up is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Look at that. So this is, this one is 116.8 proof. now. Obviously, with all these being barrel proof, batch proof, which is pretty much the same thing. Barrel proof is technically whatever that barrel is. Batch proof technically should be whatever all those barrels batched together, the proof came out to be. So if some were 115, some were 135, averaged out 125, whatever the case may be. There's no legal definition for those terminologies. So they're kind of interchangeable. Like I said, if what does it say? Yeah, this one says barrel proof, but I know it's not a single barrel. That being said, like I said, there's there's nothing wrong with them saying that. It's it's just whatever they want to put on the label because there's no standard definition. But this rare breed is, like I said, it's it's something so good. You're gonna get that classic turkey. It's it's like 101 amped up to 100%. 116 proof, like I said, 116.8. You get that that turkey, that that rye spice, just everything good so cheers guys classic turkey rye spice a little bit of breadiness a little bit of nuttiness in there right now um yeah just just really damn good okay uh and we are going to be rolling through these pretty quick so rare breed around here is about 45 bucks so just keep that in mind number two on the list might be something a little bit harder for you guys to get um i know it's not available in all stores i think I think barrels available in all 50 states, if I'm not mistaken. Not always the easiest to find. A lot of our stores around here don't carry them. Uh, we're in the middle of nowhere, so we have to go a little bit closer to Nashville, the closest big city, uh, in order to find some of these. Now, what Barrel does is they're a little bit different. They source all their product. They're not, they're not trying to hide any of it. Uh, in this batch, it is Tennessee and Kentucky product in here. Most likely Dickel and whatever. Um, there's a lot of options in Kentucky that they could be getting stuff from. So this here is batch 19 and each batch on this is unique. They do not shoot for the same flavor profile. Um, when I was shopping for this one, I was trying to decide between 19 and 23. Luckily the store that I shop at had opens of each one and I could sample it before and I said I like 19 better. So I could buy about 19. That being said, like I said, each, each batch is unique. Um, if you really like a batch, make sure to go get more of that same one. If you don't like a batch, try a different one. Because, like I said, they, they take a set of barrels and blend together whatever the best they can out of what they have available. You know what I mean? So they don't say, okay, here's 200 barrels. Let's try and make a batch with this. No. They have all their barrels and they say, cool, what's the next batch? And they start working on it and start trying to figure out what flavor profiles work best uh, for what they're going for next. Batch 19 and batch 20, completely different from each other. So, um, and if you look on the back, you can see it says distilled in, and then it's either gonna say Indi Indiana, Kentucky, or Tennessee for the most part. Sometimes it'll say only one, sometimes it'll have all three. So like I said, just keep an eye out, and um, they're, they're really putting out some good stuff over there. So. so on here, you get more of the just straight up uh, caramel, vanilla, a little bit of baking spices, a little bit of earthiness to it. So just, just really good. A little bit of that Tennessee spice in there. And um, yeah, that's, I, I really like that guys. So these usually retail around here for about $80. So they are a little bit more on the pricey side, but definitely something unique you can't find anywhere else. Next up on the list, Old Ezra Seven Year. Yeah, I know you can't find it everywhere, but um, around here it's usually on the shelf. If you go to a couple stores, I know our local has a whole shelf full of them. And uh, last time I was in there, they actually had some for 28 bucks. So these are out of Lux Row, and these are allegedly sourced. Um, 
There's no hard proof. They don't tell you, but I've, it's pretty well known. Uh, this is Heaven Hill. Uh, obviously at least seven years old. And this one is 117 proof. So you get your uh, classic Heaven Hill, seven year. And for 30, 35, even 40 bucks, for a seven year barrel proof urban, that's that's totally fine with me. This is something I always keep around. Usually try and keep a few spare bottles. Classic Heaven Hill knows Lux Row, they're picking out some great barrels for these. Now they are uh, a little bit dusty, a little bit barrel char in there, which is a little weird for, I don't want to say seven years young, because seven years is not young. Um, seven years is perfectly acceptable. Most master distillers like things either in that six to eight year range or eight to 10 year range. So at seven years, you're right in the middle and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You don't have to have the 15, 20 year bourbon for it to be good. So cheers guys. Oh yeah, that is, yes. A mm. little bit of spice in there, earthiness. Your vanilla, caramel, and again, more of that barrel char. I don't think they are filtering this hardly at all, so good on them. Next up is one you can find just about all 50 states, almost any liquor store worth their salt, and that is Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Yes, Jack Daniels in, is bourbon, end of discussion. Um, legally speaking, okay, legally speaking, Jack Daniels is bourbon. I know some people say, well, it doesn't say it on the label, so they're not bourbon. Legally speaking, the Lincoln County process, i.e. charcoal mellowing, is a subtractive process, not an additive process. Ergo, it is still bourbon. They did not add anything to it. Argue what you want. I don't care. It's, I've talked to the TTB directly, the people in charge of labeling and requirements, and they said, yes, it is, in fact, bourbon, um, bourbon pursuit. Awesome podcast. You guys should go check them out. They had Jeff Arnett on there, the master distiller for Jack Daniels. And he said, yes, legally, if they wanted to, they could be called a bourbon. They are all single barrels, barrel proof. This one happens to be 128.7. It does vary barrel to barrel. Uh, some of them, you do get more of that banana flavor. Some of them, you get absolutely none of that banana flavor. So if you're a fan of it, cool. If not, cool also. You just got to find the right barrel. This one happens to have just a little bit of hint on that banana. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, smell Jack Daniels old number seven, and it, it's like those little runts, hard candy bananas, right? But that is pretty indicative. Uh, it comes from the yeast that Brown Foreman uses. Um, old Forester has a little bit of it too. I have had some of these that are absolute stag killers, okay? And what I'm saying, I'm not talking about Stag Junior. Ugh. I'm talking about the big boys, okay? We've had these multiple times in a blind taste test and gone up against multiple years of George T. Stag and the Jack Daniels one in the blind test. The, some of these barrels guys are absolutely cream of the crop. You can't get hardly anything better. Yes, I know this should be on the list of bourbons that you need on your shelf, but let's find it. You're not gonna find this on the shelf, so you're not gonna be able to get it on your shelf, which is why I did not include these in this one so i i really try and keep it to bourbons that you guys can probably find if you try hard enough not you know your george t stag your william larue weller your you know whatever the case may be like let's you you can't just go to the store and buy them so obviously if you can find it buy it that's a whole other discussion but a little bit of that banana in here tons of brown sugar Burnt sugar, car caramel, cream brulee. Oh, just, it's fantastic, guys. And a 128.7. Mm. It's, it's just fantastic. There's, like I said, it's all single barrel. Some of them are better than others, but yeah, I, I fully stand behind this. Think of what you want of Jack Daniels. They do put out a very quality product. Moving on, this is Booker's out of Jim Beam. 
They are currently releasing four batches a year. This one is 201804 kitchen table and it is at a straight 128 proof. And this one just happens to be, what is it? Six year, eight months, seven days. Um, Jib Beam is another one that really likes things on that six to eight year range. Now, these are going up in price. Um, they're doing it slowly up to $100 MSRP. This is at, at 60 to 70 bucks. It's a buy for me all day long. At 90 to 100 dollars, it really starts getting into that is it worth it range, which is why I fully stand behind the Knob Creek single barrels. They are at least nine years old. And if you can get a store pick like this, uh, a lot of times they're even 14, 15, sometimes 16 years old. I know you guys have heard me say it before, where else are you gonna find a 15 year old single barrel at 120 proof for 45 bucks? Nowhere. So these are a stupid good buy. These are more of a special occasion buy, if you will. Um, definitely that nutty peanutness. More of that brown sugar, dark caramel. Definitely nutty, almost like a cashew nutty. Mmm. Nutty, nut butter, peanut butter. Um, more of that earthiness, just, yeah, the, these are solid, guys. Again, because I've been buying them for that $60, $70 price range, it stings for the $100, but you can't argue with results. That being said, like I said, if you don't want to spring for that for about half the price, you get these. Um, some of them have cool little stickers. And they're at least nine years old. They're 120 proof, so not quite barrel proof. Although most of the picks I've done at uh, Jim Beam and the barrels I've seen are around 125-ish proof, 128 proof. So they're really not watering down that much to get to that 120. So half the price. It is an older product, so... Yeah, you do you, boo. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm Why don't we just go ahead and... I think that's in the frame. There you go, we'll start working our way down. How's that? Like I said, no particular order. Ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and do this one next. Speaking of stags, this is Stag Junior, baby stag, and this one is 132.3 proof, I believe. I believe this is batch 12, maybe batch 14. Um, 2019, I believe this is batch 12. Don't, don't quote me on that. Ooh, cherry, cola, cherry cola, burnt sugar, barrel char, if you can find these, I know I've seen people say around the country that they can just go down the you know local supermarket and pick them up. They're set on the shelf, 50, 55 bucks, whatever, 60 bucks. Um, these are around here. I, I haven't seen one on the shelf in probably a year or two at least. So take that for what it's worth. If you can get it, I highly recommend it. Don't pay $100, $150 for them though, guys. They're just don't do it, okay? Yeah, tons of that cherry cola. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Um, like I said, if you can find it, absolutely, 100% buy. Next one on the list, one of my favorites. I know I said these are in no particular order, but maybe saving best for last, who knows? That is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's another one. You probably have to hunt for it a little bit more, but it should be more available than uh, than the stag. And these are still a 12-year product. They are 12 years old, still stated on the label. So these are out of Heaven Hill, and they used to be all the Elijah Craig's were 12 years. They dropped that age statement because of demand. Uh, however, they did keep it on the barrel proof, so good on them. And this is batch C919. And this is 136.8 proof, 68.4%. Woo! Huda! 
Oh, okay. This is one. Um, I know some people can get them for like 50, 60 bucks. Um, I would have no problem paying 70 for them. I know some people turn their nose up at it. Dude, it's a freaking 12 year barrel proof. Comes out three times a year. 70 bucks, that's a no brainer in my book, okay? 80 bucks, sure, I'd pay 80 bucks for that if I didn't have some. Um, I have a few. But yeah, if, if I didn't have some, I would absolutely pay 80 bucks for that. So don't worry about what the naysayers online say. Burnt sugar, some of that cherry, which I, I love my cherries in a bourbon, I do. More of that barrel char, a little bit of that age showing through, some of that oak. Mm. Cheers, guys. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. God. Bah, yes. Just all, all the yes. I, I am a sucker for these. B519 was one of my favorite batches of the last three years. Uh, coincidentally, it was the lowest proof. It was 122 proof. And it is so damn drinkable, okay? It is so damn drinkable. Um, yeah. Leather, oak, barrel char. Not a lot of tannin. It's not real drying. I'm not a fan of the, the drying your mouth out thing. That cherry, the vanilla. Mm. Yes. All the yes. Last but not least on the, on the list is this right here. And I say this using the term loosely, okay? And these are out of MGP, and there's lots of other uh, MGP that you can get. Cat's Eye Distillery, the list goes on and on. MGP, in my opinion, in that 8 to 10 year range, is just freaking phenomenal. This bottle right here, again, stag killer time and time again. Um, it's, mm, <laughs> yes. And then again, um, Smoke Wagon. Uh, there's tons of people doing MGP. They are usually a little more on the pricey side, and unfortunately, MGP raise their prices on their barrels. Sometimes even going to a uh, even to a distillery, they are sometimes ten, twelve thousand dollars for a barrel um, that's aged over ten years, and that's. The only way, obviously, to recoup their cost from buying that barrel is to sell it at a higher price. It is what it is. That being said, um, Insider Tip, MGP is putting out some amazing light whiskey stuff. Uh, again, Cat's Eye has some of that, Jay Mattingly, however you feel about that. More of that oak, a little bit of rye spice. Butteriness. There's just the soft, buttery quality about it that's fantastic. So... Mm. Yep, that's, yep, <sighs> guys, MGP, huge factory, they used to get looked down upon just a few years ago, maybe for being this big factory, it used to be Seagram's, and they were just, people said they were just pumping out bourbon, and there was crap, and it was swill, and don't even touch it, and turns out they were wrong, and uh, the market found out about it, now they're super hard to get, but, um, yeah. Now, real quick side note. I know this says Blonde Brothers. Um, this is not our bourbon. Old Fangled, not our bourbon, as in not our bourbon. So they do have stuff that Blonde Brothers is putting out that is their own product uh, that is not from MGP. So just random side note. But, guys, there you go. That should be a little bit more centered, maybe, um, in frame. These are my top list of bottles to have during the quarantine barrel proof that i keep in my bar at all times let me know in the comments what your one bottle would be that you would absolutely have to keep on hand during quarantine um that's barrel proof and let me know what you think about these bottles um if you like them dislike them let me know i'm curious to find out so um everyone's tastes are different these are just some things that are again more available not like some of these stuff um 
that you can find at your liquor store or a nearby liquor store if you try hard enough. So, with that being said, guys, appreciate you hanging out with me. And uh, until Friday, noon central next week, cheers, drink wine. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next week, cheers.